Shirksan is gaining serious momentum in the golf equipment market. At Second Swing, our Golf Digest Top 100 fitters are very excited about the adjustable hosel available on Shirksan drivers. There are 12 settings that can get anyone with a Shirksan driver dialed in. Make sure you stay tuned to this video to get all the information you need. At Second Swing, club fitting is the center of our operations. We always want to make sure everybody that walks into the store or even visits secondswing.com is playing clubs fit for their swing. Shrixon makes it really easy for us with their adjustable hosel on their drivers. There are 12 settings on this driver that can get you dialed in, uh, whether it's loft or lie adjustments that you need, this hosel can take care of it for you. So here are some things to take note of when making adjustments to your Shrixon driver. With this hosel, you can increase or decrease the loft by one degree for a total of two degrees of loft adjustability. Additionally, as you rotate the hosel through the 12 settings, you're also changing the face angle and the lie angle. Here are six of the possible 12 settings. We'll start at the standard setting, which is exactly what it says. Everything from the face angle to the loft to the lie is standard. Notice how increasing the loft in the next few settings shown also closes the face angle. So, if you're looking for a higher ball flight with more loft, that face will also set up slightly closed to what you're used to. You'll also see that settings three through five all increase the loft by one degree, but the face angle and the lie angle on each of them are different. Now moving on to the flat setting, which is on the opposite side of the hosel compared to the standard setting, the flat setting will keep the loft and face angle standard, but the lie angle is decreased by two degrees. Decreasing the loft will open the face angle. Notice there are three settings decreasing the loft by one degree as well. Those settings differ in the face angle and the lie angle. Now let's go over how to make actual adjustments to the Shrixon driver. So the first step in making an adjustment to your Shrixon driver is to take your wrench and insert it into the screw here. Then you're going to rotate counterclockwise and that will loosen the club head. And eventually you'll be able to detach it from the shaft like so. And now I've got here a ZX7 Mark II driver. Um, I'm looking to decrease the loft. My ball flight's a little bit too high. I want to decrease the loft, but I want to keep the lie angle relatively consistent. So I'm going to go to setting 11 based on the charts that we talked about. Setting 11 decreases the loft by one, but only adjusts the lie angle by a half a degree. So I'm going to see all these marks and dots on here, but I'm going to start at standard. I'm going to rotate all the way around. So now we've rotated, we found the setting that we need. Next, you gotta line up the dot on the club head with the setting that you need. Put the club head back on the shaft, and it should be lined up. And then the last step is pretty simple. Put the screw back in by inserting the wrench and rotating clockwise. It'll start to tighten. And then once it does, you keep turning until it clicks and your driver is ready to go. With this information, hopefully you can take your Shrixon driver out to the driving range, maybe the first hole, you can make the adjustment that you need and you can start playing better golf. If you have any questions about the 12 possible loft and lie settings available on the Shrixon adjustable hosel, make sure you contact one of our award-winning fitters through the secondswing.com live chat or at the stores at Second Swing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.